Hello everyone, good morning, and welcome to City of Hope through the outpatient's point of view. <gasps> you hear that? What does that mean? That means they let me go home on Tuesday evening, and oh, I'm so tired, and I'm doing a little better, wouldn't you say? Yeah. A little better. Pain's under control for the most part. Yes. Um, we've successfully drained her catheter uh, one time, solo. Um, you also drained it at the hospital here. I don't know if we told them that, did we? Oh, I don't he, know if we did, so I've done it twice. He's drained it at the hospital here with the nurses watching him, and then he's drained it at home mm -hmm. successfully by his, himself. Thank you. Oh yeah, I love it. Um, today, our appointments involve figuring out a new plan for our line of, next line of treatment. I'm in some wheels today, and this cool new sweatsuit Kyle got for me for my birthday. It came late in the mail, but it's so cozy. Perfect for today. And oh, there's stripes on the other side. So cozy and cute. Um, they were able to fix all my pain meds to be at home pain meds and um, set you up with new stuff old stuff yeah it's a lot um, I have my oxygen on um, I'm in a wheelchair oh today's appointments involve figuring out a new treatment plan and possibly another blood transfusion we will see um, he's never been a part of the blood transfusion I slept through it but maybe you'll get to be a part of it it's might be nice for you to see as you've been someone to donate blood. Yeah, here, I donated blood yeah. here, so it'd be cool to see the other side. Yeah, so we'll let you guys know if we're doing that and if we get a new treatment plan. We're gonna go check in for my appointment. And hope today goes well. Alright guys, we went to my appointment. We saw my oncologist. It went well. We then did some paperwork. Excuse me, don't know what's going on. And we went and did an x-ray to see what's going on in my chest. Little update. And then we went and got my prescription from pharmacy. And then we got to the car. Kyle wheeled me all the way to the car. He has to go return the wheelchair. We have our own wheelchair back here, but we used theirs, long story. I and did then, a wheelchair and wheeled our old oxygen behind. Yeah, and wheeled oxygen, so we did it all awkwardly. <laughs> we got it all the way to the car and realized I still have my port hook up in. Gotta go back and take it out. Awesome. There's just a lot, we were just saying that there's a lot going on today. A lot of information. Um, we'll talk to you guys about it all. Yeah, okay. We'll come but let's back. go get our port out. Let's go out. get our port out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, you have an escort service, and I don't have to have the tank behind me anymore. Sorry. No. Now I can just wheel you. All right. Okay, we could, let's we could go. race. Let's go. Oops. All right, my port is unhooked. We are ready to go. It's hot in the car, so we're going to make this quick. <laughs> Um, so basically, my oncology team went over the new medication we are going to attempt to try. So it's a clinical trial, and that's where I say attempt, because I have to get approved. Yep. Um, it looks like I will. Seems like it. Yeah. We scratch my back in the middle. Ooh, up, up, up. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, it looks like I'll get approved, but we'll give all the. Do, we, do you remember the name? So I don't remember the name. We'll give all those details when we get home, maybe. But we did sign a lot of paperwork. We did. Uh, we read up on it, uh, like they went over the consent form. A good thing about it taking a while to get started is it will give my body time to heal more. Yeah. In the meantime. Much needed too. Yes. So that's good. How do you feel about doing another trial? 
Um, okay. It's kind of a mixed bag for me. I feel like it gives an extra opportunity for an extra trial. Mm -hmm. So good in that sense. Yep. Um, clinical trials are a tad more annoying. Yeah. I want to make a video about pros and cons of clinical trials because extra tests, extra, yes. extra scans, so so that people know what it all entails. But I feel good about it being a clinical trial. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel hot. Can we turn on the air even though we're talking? Yeah. Okay, we cheated and turned the air on, even if it's noisier for you guys. Sorry. Um, we did end up carrying the helium tank or oxygen. <laughs> oxygen tank into the VAD, the blood area, because we didn't know if we could leave it in the car. We're new to this oxygen tank life. Yeah. The reason we have two is because we didn't, we're inexperienced, so we brought the oxygen tank this morning and it was already almost empty by the time we were leaving. Yeah. And so my team gave us a, an oxygen tank and then we have to bring ours home to return to our people <laughs> and then bring this one back and yeah. return to we're them. We're very new to this game. We're so new to it. If you guys <clears throat> have any tips or tricks for this oxygen life, it would be greatly appreciated. I tried to do, like, I didn't do makeup or anything. I tried to get ready this morning without my oxygen on. Just shower and brush my teeth and stuff like that. And I couldn't. I needed my oxygen. Mm -hmm. My oxygen level dropped on my uh, pulse ox. And I just felt the need to breathe. Yeah. It, it increased. Um, so. Her doctor put in for possibly getting a, like a portable oxygen that you like wear and bring it with you everywhere rather than a tank. Um, that would be really nice. We're supposed mm -hmm. to have someone reach out to us about that. Mm -hmm. I feel good about a clinical trial. I'm just I'm just still overwhelmed at the fact that you're still hurting and still recovering. And I mean, your pain's been managed, but hurting in a sense of your body's weak and frail. And My body still hurts more than before. But we're being, you know, given a new opportunity. We're very grateful. Another treatment. It's not, um, you know, it's a pill again. We really love that about the last one. Yeah, I like one. that it's a pill. Cause you're, that makes me really happy. Once you get through all the testing at the beginning, you're doing a lot of it at home, which is very, very nice. So I'm just grateful for that. No infusion. No infusion. No, no offense to infusions, but I just associate them all with negativity I guess. Yeah, it's hard. I get sick after chemo, the immunotherapy sent me to the hospital. And then you know, the, the M Ventum target therapy, yeah. was just I hated it. <laughs> so the fact that it's not an infusion which could have nothing to do with anything. But it's nice. It it's just nice. feels it just feels nice. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Hopefully this pill is a good pill. Did we learn anything from today? I know I learned something from today. We are overwhelmed, or I am. Yeah, I it's too. really a lot. Yeah. Focusing on your recovery, our life kind of got turned upside down again. You're just trying to get your body right. You know, our kids have started new summer programs. I know that's weird, but like, just trying to catch up. And then all of a sudden now we're being gratefully given this new opportunity, but it's just, I think we're just tired. Cancer's kind of really beating us up. At one point when I went and got the x-ray today, Kyle got lost. <laughs> no, I didn't get lost. Okay, okay, okay. We misplaced you. She put me in a room next to the x-ray room and I'm thinking, this room doesn't look like it's been used in years. They are gonna forget all about me. So Kyle pushed me back because I thought I had to undress, blah, blah, blah. I need help undressing with my new, um, catheter and so I said can my husband come she said yes then another chick was like no she doesn't need to undress or another lady I shouldn't call her a chick another lady was like no no she doesn't need to undress just come with me I'll put you in a waiting room and I thought no but he had my phone with him he had all my stuff so then he went in the other waiting room but I didn't see where it was I didn't have your phone though yeah he did it was attached to your wheelchair 
It was? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, man. But you were no, in no place to, like, look around for anything. You were no, yeah. not feeling up for it, so I knew. I don't feel good. Some I was just waiting, looking at the clock, thinking, I know an x-ray only takes a few minutes. Why aren't they getting me? Did they forget about me in here? They this pushed, is really awkward. They pushed me out to the regular waiting room. They're like, could he be in the restroom? And I said, no. Not, he not went right husband. before my no. x-ray. And like, could he have wandered? No. No, not your husband. He would be sitting right here waiting for me. And... I was. Because you know x-rays are quick. I know. And then she did like three laps and then went in the back again. I said, I believe he was put in a weird waiting room. Thank you. By your colleague. Yes. And if you go look in random rooms, you'll find him. There he was, sitting there. And I look over there. my shoulder, and he's like getting carried out by the, or not carried, but like escorted, escorted out, out by the nurse or when I was whatever thinking, her title is. I appreciate her help. But I thought it was so funny. I know this hospital like the back of my hand. I'm not <laughs> one to get lost. I know every inch. I thought it was so funny. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Where's my hubby? I've been sitting there for years. Where's Kyle? I thought, oh, maybe they're doing a more detailed x-ray. I don't know, because usually they take like a minute. Whatever. Sorry we lost you. That's we misplaced okay. you. Um. Overwhelmed. Tired. Um, grateful that there's another So grateful. And I didn't need a blood transfusion. Oh, yeah. So even if I was going to need one, we would still be happy and grateful because of the blessing of being able to get one here. Yeah, thank goodness. I love that we can just get checked, and if I need it, then we would set me up with one today. <clears throat> it motivates me to, next time maybe you're down here for something or whatever, I'll schedule another donating. Donate more. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle was donating more when he wasn't allowed in yeah. to the appointments, and so he would go donate blood while he was here sometimes and I've always been proud of you for doing that and I'm grateful for you doing that because you help people like me yeah it's weird I, I don't know who's how incredible blood I have but clearly it's agreeing with me yeah it's so wonderful. I'm very grateful yeah thank you to everyone who donates it really helps us out us cancer patients and I'm sure other people um, your blood looked pretty good today mm -hmm. yeah yeah, you should donate again. My sister's done it here. Mm -hmm. um, my One of my cousins donates a lot. I don't know if she still does. She did in the past. Yeah. But it's really cool. Yeah. We have a uh, dance recital for Winnie tomorrow. So we have to figure out this whole oxygen life. By tomorrow. By tomorrow. <laughs> uh, because... I'm sure we'll figure it out. We are gonna be in like a big like theater. She's going to perform in a big big theater, and so we want to make sure Jenny's comfortable Yay, and it'll be so she exciting. has enough oxygen for the whole time. So I don't know. Might we'll have to bring maybe out. like three tanks or something. Just I don't know because I, <laughs> I don't know if you could store in the car while we're waiting. We'll have to like look this stuff up. So. Yeah yeah yeah. All right. It's right by your house, though, so... Like if I had to run home and get oxygen, close, yeah. 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 Well, wish us luck, I bought guys. two holders, so I feel like we could okay. put one and one, one and one, and then we have to switch. Well, and then I might bring my wheelchair. If I don't bring my wheelchair, Kyle bought me a new wheelchair. If I don't bring my new wheelchair, I will bring a walker, because I have a walker with a seat. Thank you, Mrs. Horton. And... I, I don't just, know which one I would bring. I don't know how to those. How does that work at those kind of places? Like if I have a regular seat, not a handicap seat, can I park it somewhere? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I bet they sell. We should call the place. The and ox ask. An oxygen, more like an oxygen backpack. Yeah. I should buy that, and then I can just be your buddy and just follow you and wear it. Well, that would be nice. Now we have to go home and drain my lung because Brad, my brother-in-law, has the kids and, and it's better to do it, it's better to do it with them not home. Yeah. I am so grateful for Brad. He's taken on so much with the kids since we've been going through all of this and he just keeps right at it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'll take him. Yep, I'll take him. Yep. We're so grateful for you, Brad. I don't know if he watches YouTube, but Ash, if you're watching next to Brad, tell him 
We love you, Brad. <laughs> and thank you. But then after we get my fluid, we'll probably go get the kids to drain my fluid. Yeah. We just got home and I wanted to show you guys. Look at these cute ladybugs. They were sent to our P.O. box. There's one for each of us. And we put it in front of our prayers needed for Jenny and family while she battles cancer. And then my beautiful rocks that some of you have sent. And then we have my butterfly for my mom and dad. But how cute, I love it. Thank you guys for all your sweet, beautiful gifts. They mean so much to us and they make us smile every time we see them. Kyle drained my fluid and I'm doing okay, but it hurts. And I'm gonna nap for two hours. And I, I feel so exhausted from all that today entailed. And Kyle's gonna play with the kids, keep them company. And then something fun is coming. The pain hasn't gotten better, it's gotten worse. So I can't fall asleep, but I'm gonna keep trying. We had food delivered by one of our friends, Ellis's classmate's mom, who loves to take care of us when we got hard times going on. And she brought over this amazing vegan pasta and some garlic bread and some yummy vegetables. We're about to dig in. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to eat the vegetables. It is the next day and I completely forgot to keep filming yesterday. I ended up having a really nice nap. We had dinner made by a friend, which was delicious. And then I forgot to keep filming. Um, we just stayed home. I said something fun was gonna happen. That fun activity was supposed to be taking Winnie makeup shopping for her performance because they said on the dress up information that they're allowed to wear light makeup if they would like. And this is her second performance ever. Last time they didn't say that, so I thought we'd make it fun, do a light blush, maybe a light lip gloss or lipstick, um, whatever. But she said she didn't want to do that. So that there went our fun activity. I don't want to push it if she doesn't want it. I only want to do it if she's into it. Yeah. Um, but she wasn't into it, so we didn't do it. And then I f I'm forgetting to film because my new buddy, used to be my camera, is now this oxygen tank, or this, what's it called? This is a concentrator. A concentrator. I have to bring it everywhere with me. So I'm not thinking about the camera or anything. I'm just thinking about, oh, I need to bring my oxygen. I need to bring my oxygen. So today's fun event is when you dance performance. Yay, are you excited? Yes? No. Oh, she's just meh. She's just meh. Um, we're going to when you dance performance. You can feel it all And I'm gonna bring a wheelchair. I'm gonna bring my oxygen. And we're gonna bring a cute little dancer and a supportive brother. And a helpful daddy. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a fashion show. Maybe I'm not up for it, we'll see. Maybe they can film it without me. All right, today is Winnie's dance recital. So we, of course, have to have a runway. Winnie, come on down. She's got her beautiful red dress with a red tutu and two red bows. She's excited to dance to the beautiful music today at the dance recital. Looking gorgeous. And she's tell, got her cozy shoes tell, tell until it, she puts her tap shoes tell on. Tell what the song it is called. Uh, Sir Duke by by Stevie Wonder. <laughs> and next up we have Ellis with a beautiful button up shirt, some brand new white kicks, and his lounge fly. He's ready to go. Next up we have the beautiful mommy coming down the runway in a beautiful dress. She will be hooked up to oxygen because she needs it baby and she will have a wheelchair to get around. We're going to take care of this little one here and make sure she comes to the recital. Love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you so much. You're going to do great, okay? Okay. Have fun. That's all that matters is that you have fun. Okay. Okay, I love you. Ready to go to dance? Yeah. Yeah? 
Let's go. I don't want to. Want to what? You miss mom? She's gonna be there watching you. Huh. Yeah. Winnie, we finished your performance. How did you feel about it? Great. Great? Did you have fun out there on the stage? Yeah. Yay. You did amazingly. Thank you. You're welcome. We're so proud of you. Els, what did you think of Sissy's performance? Um, it was great. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, Winnie's our little star. Mm. Ellis, do you think you want to join dance after watching that? Um, I don't really know. Oh, you don't really know? Good. Or they have this singing group again. Did that in show you, give you any interest or no? No. no. One time you said One time you said the singing looked fun. If you ever change your mind, let us know and we'll sign you up. What why did you say it was scary? He thought the singing group looked a little Scary, right? Like a sugar bean? Yeah. What? It's like I would be scared to sing on stage too. I'm in so much pain. Doing any extra stuff causes my pain to go up so much. We didn't know this when I left the hospital because I wasn't doing much. I was in bed all the time. Um, I was doing physical therapy, but just it included walking and doing like simple normal tasks but my body is just in misery right now my body is just in misery right now um cow's playing with a star wars toy <laughs> if you're wondering what that was um is that a star wars toy yeah i'm trying to turn it off yeah yeah um anyway so I think this is something I need to talk about with my team to let them know that being out and about in the world, I'm taking it way slower with the wheelchair, with the oxygen, and like the oxygen slows me down because I'm connected to something. So I can't move around as much as I normally would. Um, but it's, the pain's gone up so much. It's just since being at home, like a normal person. Not even normal. I'm not doing what I normally do. My new normal, I'm not doing that. Guys, oh my gosh, it's the next day. I am the literal worst at filming now. I cannot get used to this new life and filming. Yesterday, my sister and Brad ended up coming over with their kids, which was really nice, just getting family bonding time and literally 
laying on the couch, watching a movie. Just hanging out. Hanging out, talking. It was really nice. Um, I love family time. It makes me feel so good. You enjoyed it too, huh? I did. It was nice. It was really nice. But then I didn't film any of it. I got a shot of us watching the movie. Yeah. I think that's it. That's about it. And we had dinner. We just hung out. We talked. It was nice. And then after they left, we did bedtime routine and whatnot. I had to, I said, Kyle, I need to film talking to the camera about all this stuff. And he said, okay, please wait for me. And so he went to do bedtime with the kids, put them down in the room, and we wait till they go to sleep to come out of their room. And so I was out here waiting for him, and he passed out. And I thought, oh, he's probably asleep. I'll just wait a little bit longer, and then I'll go get him. And then I fell asleep. So we didn't film anything. But here we are now. Hopefully we'll get back into a rhythm. Sorry for this choppy vlog, or whatever it is. But we thought we'd talk a little bit about getting out of the hospital. When did I get out? I have no more like backup footage that I had record previously recorded. Did you get out the day after Father's Day? No, two days after. Two days after, so like that Tuesday? Tuesday, I think. Yeah, so that'd be the 19th Tuesday the evening. Yeah. Tuesday evening I got out. Um, after a week at being of being at City of Hope, and I had been at the other hospital for four days, four I days. think. Yeah. So it was 10 or 11 days in the hospital. And how did that go about? You want to talk about that? Yeah, so, you know, they were monitoring her every day, and she was getting better. Like, the doctors kept saying, you're, you're kind of getting to a stable point. Let's just see where you are with your heart rate and your breathing. <clears throat> and she got to a place where her heart rate was pretty good, and breathing was good, but she is now on oxygen pretty much full-time, um, which we're getting used to that life. But... Um, they, you know, looked at her numbers and then they decided that she was okay to be discharged. Um, so she was, and it's been, you know, pain has been under control. Um, she's super exhausted from everything. I am having more pain from being out of the hospital and doing more stuff. So I'll talk with my pain team this week about that. I don't know if that's just... normal and we just accept it or if he says or if he says no that's normal but we need to go up you know we'll see what he says right yeah i'm oh, sorry continue no i yeah um so we've been adjusting to home life with jenny here we're so glad to have her home but we gave a big speech to the kids and kind of myself that She's still a patient just at home. <clears throat> we told the kids that doctor gave us specific orders that if I let you go home, that that husband and kids need to treat mommy like a patient and take care of her. He didn't say that, but we came up with that and the kids are like, okay. And they've been really sweet and very careful around you. There's new things, you know, so we had an event yesterday. And so I purchased a wheelchair for Jenny because at some things, the motorized scooter is not the best for, and this was that. It's a tight feeder that we went to to go yeah. watch Winnie perform. So the wheelchair is like slender, and it's easy for me to push Jenny around, but we're getting used to this new life of now the wheelchair and the oxygen, which the oxygen is probably like a whole nother topic, because it's really hard to travel with these oxygen tanks, if anyone has to travel with oxygen. Um, so we're looking into getting a like portable concentrator that she she has a big one at home that's been running since we got home. It's so convenient. We are so grateful for this machine. It's a such a blessing. I didn't realize it because we've never she's never needed oxygen. It's always been here in the background, and now that she needs it, um, the concentrators are amazing. So I've been looking into getting our portable ones. So we're probably going to do that. But in the meantime, we're getting used to 
opening up, changing, hauling around these oxygen tanks. So we did that yesterday. There's a little bit of um, growing pains with us getting used to this company who does the oxygen and <laughs> delivery service. Anyway, we signed up for this oxygen, oxygen, if you guys remember so long ago, like I would say probably close to a year ago, mm -hmm. um, but at least many months ago. So we don't remember the details back from when we first got it. And well, now they, they originally prescribed it as just a, as needed. Now she needs it. So like I'm there's going a whole through it quicker. different prescription that we need to be written for her and we just didn't realize didn't it. realize it. So we're getting used to that life. Um, and it's okay. We're getting we're getting by. Um, I think the kids are getting used to seeing some different things. You know, mommy on full time oxygen, mommy in the wheelchair yesterday. Um, Ellis had a big, big cry last night and it seemed it was about one thing, but it seemed like it was centered and rooted and like there was things. a deep pain it was a deep that cry. he was letting out yeah so you know we're all adjusting we're so thankful to have you home and we're just getting used to this new chapter we keep turning the page and we get keep getting thrown these new chapters and we're so grateful but they're also scary and they come with a lot of new territory each time mm -hmm. and this one is like pain control oxygen management and possibly a new treatment we told you about so we're just getting used oh, to Oh yeah, weren't we gonna say more about that? Do you remember what it's <clears> called? <throat> so it's called the Colidin. Uh, that's the name of the company, and I don't remember the the trial number. Basically she's uh it's very similar to what she was on before, the blue, which you know we all got used to and we were grateful for because of the the ability to go live life with taking blue. I had really good quality of life while on blue mm -hmm. we were able to live it up have fun and i think that's yeah i think that's what your team is shooting for because mm -hmm. there were a couple different ideas thrown out and they were able to uh, apparently have been working in the background on this for a while and they were super happy that they got her to squeeze into this trial <clears throat> like they did and they're working around our schedule too which is really really nice they asked did us we say it's a clinical trial I don't know, I think we did, but it's a clinical trial. We're getting into another one, hopefully. Not all the paperwork has been processed yet, but that's the plan. Um, oh, the neighbor is going by with like- A huge thing. Like a big microwave or something <laughs> over the wall. So I do see why flowers freaking yeah. out. So we're excited. Um, I know we talked a little bit about how we feel about a new clinical trial, but you know, we're just, again, happy that there is another treatment out there for us. And we also, like her team really wants to focus on her recovering this week, so no orders to do anything really. And then the following week is Winnie's birthday. And I think, is it already? Yeah, and oh. I think they said they, we asked them and they said they'd give us that time away too. They're really nice. Really nice. Then after her birthday, so after the 4th of July, <clears throat> which if you didn't know, Winnie's birthday is 4th of July. After her birthday, then she has to go in for all the clinical trial scans. So MRI, CT, probably a heart scan, we're not sure. All the procedures to get approved for the clinical trial, that'll be a whole nother thing. Then we have a week off again, she said, because of processing and paperwork and all that stuff. Then the week after we should start the trial, something like that. So we're like two, three weeks out of treatment, I think. So, that's, they told us to recover, get better, get used to the oxygen life, get used to pain management, um, keep getting in a vantanab out of her system, because it still seems like it's definitely uh, lingering a lot. And then we go on to the next chapter. So we are home, we are adjusting. I'm glad you didn't need a transfusion the other day. We're grateful that your right, blood was kind of. I didn't kinda, need a transfusion. Her blood was leveling out a little bit, which I'm is so great. I'm so grateful. Yeah. Thank That's you to it. the stranger who donated and made me stronger. Yeah. I appreciate your really help. awesome how that works. Winnie's dance performance was yesterday. We couldn't film it. They said there is absolutely no filming or photography allowed during the performances. Absolutely none. Oh, you guys, I like to follow rules. 
Kyle kept saying, just do it, who cares? Just do it. And I was like, I can't, I can't do it, I'm too scared. So I didn't do it, so sorry. My sister, I think, got a picture, so I will put one in if we got one. But she did so great, she was so cute. So beautiful. I loved so it. She did it to the Stevie Wonder song. Sir Duke. Sir Duke. <laughs> Very cute. Didn't know it was called Sir Duke. And she did tap. Mm -hmm. Tap performance. So overall, you're doing okay. We're, get, we're getting adjusted to this new territory. Today's draining day. Today's a drain day. So but we'll I will... Do that later. I will drain later. I'm going to now Summer's performance today with the kids. Jenny is unfortunately kind of stuck at home because of oxygen. I don't have my oxygen. I have one last tank, but I want to save that for my next hospital visit. Yeah. Just in case I don't get a delivery by then. So, we sorry, had to, Summer. Had to kind of make a call Aunt, there. Auntie won't be there. But the kids and I are going to go, and then her dad and her brother are going to come over and take care of Jenny while I'm gone. And then we're gonna like kind of rotate. Then I'll come home, <clears throat> drain you, and then your dad and brother are gonna go to Summer's night performance. She's in two. Well, they're gonna take care of the kids while you drain me. All right. Then they're gonna go to Summer's evening performance. Yeah. Oh, they'll only see one of Summer's dances. The mm -hmm. kids. Which one are you guys seeing? I think Brad said ballet. We're seeing the Sally song. Oh, I hope. She does the Sally song? That's what Ellis was saying. I said, what do you mean she does the Sally song? One of the performances yesterday was um, Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And we love The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's like an annual tradition every, once it becomes Halloween time. We watch we it all watch season. That Christmas, movie. Halloween. Yeah. So, it was super cute. And it's the same dance studio. So we assume that Summer will have the same. Sometimes the same age group on different days will do the same song. So that'll be fun. I hope so. And then you guys will come home and we'll have a family evening. Yep. And get ready for the week. Yep. Tomorrow will be a fun morning. Why? The name game. The kids and I are going to Disneyland. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we got to get a surprise gift for Winnie, and it's only. You guys have to there. be discreet. Yeah. And then go through the Small World store. Okay. Because Ashley saw some cute stuff there. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We will talk to you very soon. I'm not sure about what, but I already. Since I didn't really film the last few days, I feel like I haven't filmed. So I'm already getting the itch to film again. So, well, you'll like properly have, film. You'll probably have some stuff to film on Tuesday, traveling with oxygen, pain appointment. Yeah, we'll talk. I'll see you guys soon. Love you. I appreciate you all. Bye. You guys look at that JCPenney catalog Ellis is doing. <laughs> He's a model.